Hello, this is Dagon VC, and welcome back to another preview video. And in this one, we're going to be looking at the TMNT, the RW ongoing series, the TMNT, the Alliance issue number 6. So, this issue is going to be the final issue for the Alliance storyline, and also going to be setting up some stuff for the actual final stages for the Armageddon game event. So, this issue is going to be really interesting to see how things play out. So, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the images. Okay, so we first start off with Karai just holding up this hologram of Noel and the Pussy Turtles was back to Dokumen and saying that April was basically gave us some information saying that these turtles were only here to be created by Noel just so that they could more or less destroy the turtles' images. And that's more or less what uh, April really gathered and that's where they are talking about like, what they should do next in terms of the little team. The funny thing here is that they don't have Alpex or Angel so I'm not too sure if they're still going to be part of this whole team and going to be in the final issue. I hope they are because, well, they were pretty cool characters and, you know, slightly been underused for quite a while. But at the same time, with how they've been used recently with, like, Alpex starting up her own clan in issue 138, I sort of have doubts that she will be in this one, but you never know. Um, okay, so then going into the next page, we see, um... What's his name? Such Winters talking to KC and asking how the Foot Clan have the best technology. And that's when Karai says, Oh, basically, oh, uh, basically, like, you should stop interrupting us and stuff like that. And uh, Sergeant Winters uh, starts asking some questions about the whole plan just because he doesn't really know what's really going to happen and stuff like that. And it's understandable because as of right now, Karai hasn't really said anything as of what's going to be happening. So then going into the next page, we would actually do get some more information about what's going to be happening. We do get to know that this Horonza person, I'm pretty sure is one of the EPF members, saying that he basically has a blind spot and he chooses who the people knows about information. So uh, Christ says basically this will be Baxter uh, Stubman's undoing and stuff like that. And April said basically um, they can get like a more or less confession out of it. It will like destroy um, their reputation just because it will reveal like cr uh, Noel's uh, connection with Baxter Stockman and stuff like that. So that will like stop their plans. And that's when uh, Karai says basically we have to get the impositors involved with this and stuff like that. And Detective Lewis wants to do this the right way without killing or anything like that. And you know, that's not the fun way, I'd say. <laughs> um, but then, yeah, that's more or less it for that page. We then go into the next page, and Cry does a, a little bit of sarcasm, saying that she won't do any deaths intentionally. So, yeah. Uh, so that's when Cry actually reveals a bit more of the actual plan itself, and says basically we can get Cry, or, oh no, God. Uh, Cry's gonna get the Impositors to come after April, uh, just because Noel wants, uh, wants her at the moment. And that's when they're going to do some other big major things as of right now. And that's when Karai uh, sends off a little message to uh, Chrissy and uh, Zodi. And then we go into the next page where we do get to see uh, Chrissy has the phone and she has the, inf uh, the alert. And Zodi finds out about this and decides to go off to, to go and tell um, oh, oh God, uh, Madden Noel about this. So then we go into the next bit where we do get to see the imposter turtles. They've all come down to the streets going after April because they think that April's going to be there. And then a little to their surprise, they don't actually find it. It's actually Rocksteady of all people. And in here they actually uh, start talking about how they want to stop using uh, the like, holograms to stop being the turtles. So I do you find that a bit interesting to see and I'm somewhat curious to see where that does go. But yeah. I must admit, like, overall with that short story, it seems really interesting with what they're going to be doing. But with other stuff uh, in here, where we do take a bit, uh, like look at like the plans, stuff like this for Karai, but she wants to go after Backstockman and reveal some stuff to him and get his, uh, like, get his reaction. It's okay, but at the same time, I don't really know what the whole plan is really for this because it feels to me that this is going to be a really big issue for this. And yeah, at the same time, we've still got a few more issues in the actual Armageddon game itself, so I'm somewhat curious to see how much this plays into the Armageddon game because I'll say that for the majority of the stuff which they're going to be doing in this issue, sounds like it's going to be really big stuff, so I'm curious to see what they could potentially show in this issue. Not to mention, with how things played off in the last issue with Karai, oh no, god, it was April getting some supposedly information from Noel, and yet we didn't really ever find out where it was. And if some of the information which we're talking about in this, in this issue, such as basically Baxter and Noel's connection working together, and the Imposter Tolls working to like, destroy Tolls' reputation, if that's supposed to be the information which April got, 
then I again I feel as though that we already like I mean basically we already knew that so this new information is not exactly new and I'm pretty sure uh, April even knew about the imposter turtles because of stuff like that not to mention issue 138 they do reveal uh, the whole connection thing so there's like so many plot holes in here already so far but you know I'm ready to be wrong and well guess we'll have to wait and see about that um, so then we do actually have some other images, uh, so we do got this one where we do get to see Karai setting things up with April getting the camera ready so that they can recall Baxter's reaction and this is all where I go into again basically I'm somewhat curious to see how much this will play into the game game because of how like big this stuff is so really curious about that and then one final image which is uh, one which I was quite curious about and surprised I do get to see is Karai fighting the Tolls once again so Again, I'm really surprised by this, and I'm not too sure how things will be going down and stuff like that. So, is that really curious? I must admit, it's really interesting so far. Uh, so, for the actual description itself, uh, it is uh, spurred by the looming threats of the Rat Kings. I'm getting game. Oko Karai sets out uh, to fortify the Foot Clan by building an alliance she could trust. But now, as the Carol's God and his territory tighten their grasp in New York City, Karai must choose an uh, line with the old enemy or watch the world fall to ultimate evil. Battle lines are drawn here in the epic final issue of the alliance as the Armageddon game nears its end. So yeah, overall I think that this does sound like a really interesting issue because everything that's going to be going down in this one is because of how much they've really like, said that basically so many big things will be happening in this one. But when we do look at the covers, it does it seem a bit more interesting just because we do have the cover A which I must admit looks amazing. Uh, it's done, uh, done by Roy McCardigo who's, who's going to be doing the artwork for this issue. And again, it looks really amazing. But here's the thing: is that we do have Angel and Alpex on there, but Karai's not. On, but like, we don't have April on the cover. So I'm so somewhat curious to see how much they play into it. And also, Bill and Rocksteady, I'm curious to see how much they play into this as well because they haven't really been shown in the uh, preview images so far. But they could potentially have something big to play in this whole uh, issue. So really curious about that. And then also we do have the uh, clone turtle or the no turtles up there as well. So now knowing what we do know about this issue, I'm really looking forward to seeing like the return of these turtles doing some more evil acts. And I really do hope they do come into other issues and not just this can be their final issue. So yeah. And then we do have a cover B, which I'm not too sure who the artist is. But this one looks really interesting and yeah, I must admit it does look really great. And this is somewhat well, like where I say I did get a bit confused about this issue at first before we did get all this information about this issue, as because there was like so much focus on Big Rock City in the covers, I was thinking that maybe this could be their Lance issue. Unfortunately, it's not. So yeah, but I must admit this artist does look really great. It does remind me a lot of the covers from the Team and T Micro series Big Rock Steady issue. So yeah. And then for the final one, which is done by M2 Sensor Loco, which is also the 1 in 10 variant one, and this one looks amazing. And again, we do have a big focus on Beam Rock Study. So, this part where I was sort of like, huh, okay, so are Beam Rock Study going to have their final issue? But unfortunately not. But either way, this issue does look really amazing. The artwork for this one looks really great, and the covers look amazing as always. But I must admit, with the cover B one with uh, it just being being rock steady, I must admit I do find it weird that it's just them, and it's I don't have any other uh, characters on it. But overall, it does look really amazing and um, not great. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. If you just on, please share, lots of stuff. Goodbye, yo, bye.